All right, this problem here, uh, how can I use Minitab or StatCrunch to give me the required sample size? Uh, and it's pretty easy to do in both of them, um, but they do it slightly differently, and uh, it requires you to understand a little bit of jargon that's related to the concept of a confidence interval, and so we'll get to that as it shows up. So let's uh, start off with Minitab. Um, power and sample size here on the stat menu. And so sample size for estimation. Now, in this problem, you've been given uh, standard deviation data, not mean data. And so it's natural to think that you might want to change this to standard deviation. That's not what you want to do because you're still looking for how close or whether or not your sample statistic is on the interval with the true mean. So your parameter is still the true mean. However, your standard deviation will be what is reported in the problem. And we want to estimate sample sizes. There's also margins of error. You can run this the other way if you know uh, the sample size. Now the margin of error here um, is $250. Uh, let's check on our options here. Uh, we want to have a 90% interval instead of a 95%. And these are confidence intervals are always two-sided. And you do want to assume that the population standard deviation is known. Basics, it's going to assume that your $2,400, um, your estimate is correct. So we click on OK, OK, and you get this sample size of 250 and it tells you all this stuff up here that you entered. But your answer will be 250. Let's see how StatCrunch handles this and go to the stat menu. This is a Z statistic because uh, you have a normal distribution. When you assume that standard deviation is a population when you, you're assuming uh, that it's normal. Um, and so we want power sample size. Now this looks really strange. We don't want hypothesis test power ever in this course, but we do want the confidence interval width. So the confidence level, we wanted 90. Standard deviation is 2400. We're looking for sample size, now width. The width of your confidence interval is double your margin of error. You remember that you're adding and subtracting the margin of error to uh, your uh, estimated mean value, your sample mean value. So that means that it's 250 to the left and 250 to the right or a width of 500. In fact, you can always find the uh, margin of error when you know the confidence interval because you just subtract the low from the high and cut it in half and that's your margin of error. That's always the case. Now, this is the strange thing about StatCrunch. You're going to enter 500 and when I hit compute, it's going to give me the correct sample size, but it's going to change the width just a slightly. All right, so we get the same answer as we got in Minitab, 250, and you would get this by hand as well, but it changed the width to 499 and some change. And so um, this is just it kind of working backwards. Uh, you notice that you normally get a sample size that's not a whole number, and you round up to the next whole number to get it right. This is just the flip side of that. Uh, when you put in an exact sample size, then the width is going to be a little bit less, so the margin of error is technically a little bit less when it's 250. Of course, if you had uh, solved it by hand, you would have something that was 249 and some change, and you would round that up. And so that's all that's going on there, so don't sweat that it changes your width um, at all.